Hi guys, welcome back to Data Every Day. Today we're looking at a data set of mobile phones and given a list of features about the like technical specifications of the phones, uh, let's try to predict the price range of a phone. So this is a, a value takes on either 0, 1, 2, or 3. 0 being low cost, 1 is medium cost, 2 is high cost, and 3 is very high cost. And we're going to try to use all these other features to try to predict uh, the price range. And we're going to use a logistic regression model with a pipeline to make our predictions. So um, I'm importing uh, some libraries here, NumPy and Pandas, just for dealing with the data, uh, matplotlib.pyplot and Seaborn for vi data visualization. And then for pre-processing, um, as well as the pipeline I have here, <coughs> we're using standard scalar and train test split function from SKLine. And our model will be logistic regression. So let's load in the data uh, using pandas.readcsv. And we can grab the file path right up here. We're just going to worry about the train set. The test set is actually unlabeled. So we're going to just deal with the train. Oh, I didn't actually import. And we can take a look at the data. And you can see we are missing some columns. Uh, they're hidden. So we're going to just going to go into the console and type pandas.setOption max columns uh, to none. And that way we can see all of them. We have 21 columns and you'll notice that they're all in numerical form. Um, so we want to predict the price range and for this uh, example I'm going to use pipeline. And pipeline is, uh, this is just like a, a brief uh, look at pipeline. It's an amazing way to group together transforms you want to perform on the data as well as a classifier so that you can just take a data uh, data set feed it through the pipeline it'll get process pre-processed as you like and then uh, the prediction will be made all in one line of code and um, for this data set we'll only apply one transform which will be the standard scalar just because it's so simple so I thought it was a good way of introducing pipeline um, and e extremely useful Okay, but before we actually get started with that, um, well, I, I assume we should get some info on the data. Just to make sure we don't have null values. Everything is non-null. Yeah, all 2000 are non-null. Uh, so we're good to go. And you can see everything is in numerical form. Alright, I want to visualize the correlations. It's always a good way to get some more insight about the data there's one thing to do, it's visualize correlations. Um, so I'm going to create a correlation matrix that will be data.core. So just a pandas function that can give us correlation matrix. And then we will, uh, we're going to plot it as a heat map using Seaborn. First I'm going to set up a matplotlib figure, uh, have an 18 by 15 fig size, and then seaborn.heatmap uh, of correlations, right, core. I'm going to turn on annotations so we can see the correlation uh, in values and then I want to set the minimum value to negative one. Let's also give it a, a nice uh, Mako color map. Alright, let's show it. Okay, so you'll notice, so blue co blue values correspond to very low correlations. Most of them are blue, like this kind of blue. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any negative correlations uh, but we have a few uh, positive ones. And the only really outstanding correlation I'm noticing is this 0.92. This is extremely cor uh, highly positively correlated. And that's RAM and price range. And note that price range is not actually a feature, right? Price range is our, it's our label. So the fact that we have one column that has so much predictive power over our our, lab, our target column um, means uh, I'd like to know like how responsible is RAM for giving us our final predictions. So we'll come back to that. All right, let's split the data before we begin with the pipeline. Y will be uh, just the price range column. I'll make a, a deep copy of that, and then X will be everything except price range. So we're dropping it from axis one and then making a copy of that. 
All right, then we're going to split it uh, using the train test split function, x train, x test, y train, y test, uh, equals train test split, x, y, train size is, uh, we'll make 0.7, and we'll give it a random state, how about 20. Okay, now we have four data sets and we're ready to build the pipeline. So, uh, I can call it pipe, and just going to be a new pipeline that uh, takes in, it's going to be a list of tuples, where each tuple is a transform, and the last tuple is a classifier. So, um, the tuple uh, consists of a name and a transform. So the name here, we can call it a model, I'll call it logistic regression. And that's just going to be a new logistic regression object from sklearn. Then for uh, the transform we want to apply, that's going to be a standard scalar. I'll just give each column mean 0, variance 1. So we can call that scalar. And that will be a standard scalar. OK. And this is it. There's our, our pipeline. And then we'll fit it pipe.fit, x train, y train. And you can see uh, it has run the, the train set uh, through the scaler. So it has scaled the train set and is also, uh, it has fit it actually. So, so it fit the scaler to the train set and then it uh, fit the logistic regression model to the train set as well, uh, comparing it to uh, y train. And it does actually transform as well. Okay, so let's check the results. So all we have to do is call pipe.score. And now we're doing it on the text test set. So the test set, uh, the x test, is going to be transformed by the scalar as well, but not fit. Uh, the, the scalar will not be fit by x test. Scalar was fit by x train, and the transformation that it applies to x test is based on the fit to x train. All right, so let's get the score. And we have a accuracy of 95%. I might as well print this out. Uh, accuracy. Ninety-five percent. Uh, eh, whatever. That's fine. Okay. Um, so there's one more thing I want to do in this video, which is let's see uh, what happens when we remove the RAM feature. Just just to experiment, I, I'd really like to know how much is this RAM feature uh, giving us. Like, how, how responsible is it for giving this high accuracy value? So, uh, say trying without RAM feature. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is drop RAM from the data set. Then I'm just going to grab all these lines of code. So we're going to re uh, re recreate our x and y, then resplit them then build a new pipeline, uh, then fit the pipeline. Actually, we don't even have to create a new one. We can just fit the old one. And then uh, print the result. Let's see what we get. <laughs> and the accuracy has gone down to 34%, which um, that's remarkable. That, like, that means without the RAM column, uh, we really don't have very much ability to predict range price range but when the ram column is there we have almost perfect predictions uh, so i guess that will sum up today's video this is just a, a brief tutorial on pipeline and um, i look forward to using it more in the future so uh, thank you so much for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more content and leave any comments you have in the section below i'll see you guys tomorrow have a fantastic day